Oh, Riley's rolling. getting ready for day rock crawling but typical island spec fashion kevin's putting a new berf in before we leave he's got a set of uh trail gear gun drilled brand spanking new berfs and sean we're having uh fuel in the oil problems with the green bass here but uh we're gonna figure that out and we're gonna head a rock crawling stay tuned all right we're out the boys we have a new tick in the green bastard and he eats sean's better judgment he brought it out so we're uh, heading up the hill with uh, Kevin in the Jake, Riley in the cruiser, Jimmer in the Gifty truck. Time to go do some two miles back rock crawling. I wonder if that throttle linkage that we fixed that one day is no longer fixed. <laughs> it's got no throttle. It's funny because last time we had this problem, it was in the same spot. Bounce its way right out that little hole. What am I going to do about it? Not, Not much. Well, then I guess we're fixed already. Well, throttle's working again. Man. Well, we, apparently we missed it. Kevin did the thing. <laughs> so, it, Kevin tried to get greedy and one shot the corner? Oh, this is a great pull. Well, you'll, you'll flip it over, but it's not going to be pretty. Nice. She likes it. <laughs> you almost had it. Carburetor, struggling. Green Bastard also struggling. So yeah, Sean's been doing some tuning and he's about as good a tuner as he is fabricator. So uh, we have a bad knock in the OM617 on the uh, Green Bastard. <laughs> but that's cool. Well, I've literally made it another 100 feet and uh, I think this brake is stuck on. Yeah, so it's the rears. So your rear brakes aren't releasing. I'm assuming the other rotor is the same you thing. Do you just go no brakes and disconnect everything? It's pretty hard to wheel with no brakes. Mm -hmm. Tried that before. All right, well, this has been the longest, dumbest day of wheeling so far. We have not made it anywhere. We uh, now have no rear brakes and only one front brake, but we just really want to go wheeling. So this theory is a new trail. This is the Nugget Trail that we uh, came down a while ago and Jim blew his uh, tea case. But we were coming the other way, so we're going backwards through the Nugget Trail. So this is all brand new, and uh, we're gonna see how this is gonna go. So brand new trails. We got, uh, I think, three or four obstacles to hit going this direction before we get to where uh, Jim killed his tea case. It's gonna be a good one, especially going this direction. So currently Sean has passenger front caliper. He's the only brake that he's got. It's good to see this thing out on the trail, even with all the problems we're having. Yes. Oh, look at those baked reds. Just lead cutting trail here. Hell yeah. Hard right. So we got Riley's cruiser. This thing's a carbureted 4.3 Chevy. Cruiser TKs, cr cruiser diffs, and uh, 37 inch sticky traps. It's been working really good. We're just telling Riley he needs to put some fuel injection and thing that'd help. Nice. 
nice shift there. Look at you go. Jim's really come leaps and bounds better over the last little while here. And then Kevin, last time we were out, he just put a four lane in the rear of this thing. 18 inch air shocks. So uh, the janky is getting awfully fancy too. I should probably go help Sean. So you can see what these trails look like before we uh, get into them. They're a uh, pretty thick bush here in the rainforest. That also means that uh, everything grows so fast that if we don't drive on these trails, in like six months, they completely disappear. I figured this was uh, gonna be the hard climb here. Yeah, your car's not gonna like this one. Well, we're finally back at the spot, actually, where I towed Jim's rig up. Nice side hill action. <laughs> I almost wiped out again. Hell yeah. There's that stump that you killed your tea case on last time. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I cut it out of there. <laughs> you remember doing that. This one right here. That's what Jim got stuck on. Broke his tea case. Well, we're just having a top of the hill trail today. We haven't got very far in this trail wheeling trip, but uh, the rigs are working super good. Got to give a shout out to the guys on the Patreon channel. Got a uh, new patron, Wobbles. If you uh, curious about that, want to sign up, well, it helps support the channel. Helps uh, me get you guys videos every single weekend. If you uh, head on over there, I'll uh, put a little linky doer up here somewhere. And uh, for five maple leaves a month, three dollars and fifty cents in uh, bald eagle feathers, and uh, you can uh, help support the channel which gives you access to uh, extended cut videos with extra shenanigans, all the swears in, and no ads. So uh, if you uh, want to help out getting me out in the woods every day and uh, every weekend bringing you guys more videos, uh, I gotta ask, I, I hate asking, but uh, I gotta ask if you can uh, help support the channel, a couple bucks a month, gets me uh, out on the trail more, filming more wheeling for you guys. Most of all, we get more videos for everyone. Oh, I'm not standing in front of Sean because he literally has a single brake right now. Passenger side front is the only brake he's got, and we didn't bleed it because I own some bad. That's a spicy knock. Oh, Jim's gonna go for it. I'm on this danger side. Nice driving. Nicely done. Damn, dude. <laughs> Confidence in Jim. So uh, Jim just actually bought a chassis the other day off of uh, my buddy Carl when we were wheeling with that, uh, that four seer super duty Ford Ranger buggy. Well, Jim's gonna own that chassis and he's going into a one ton car eventually here. So uh, we gotta start collecting some parts, but uh, we're not sure what the power plant's gonna be yet, but uh, one tons in the two buggy, it's gonna be pretty badass cause uh, old Jimmer's getting good at this driving thing these days. It's gonna be fun when you drive back up. Yeah, bud, one tons.
A little more gusto needed. <laughs> oh, Riley's rolling. Right on his roof. Can't park there. <laughs> well, now we're waiting on Kevin to figure his life out to bring you a winch. Whoa. Drive up to passenger and then we'll get you kind of over here if we're going to winch him over. <laughs> It's a great trail. Right on top of Riley. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping that he did that. That would have been really funny. Uh, I'll save you, Ktunk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna uh, spin Kevin around. Winch Wiley Riley back over here. <laughs> You definitely lost some oil. You're gonna have to drive off probably with him on there. She loves it. Oh yeah, is that the first rollover in this rig for you, Riley? Yep. Yeah. Nice, well you made it a good one. Oh yeah, she loves it. <laughs> Damn, Jim. <laughs> you got all NASCAR about it and then just stoved it in the ditch. Yeah, nice job. Right here, the gas. <laughs> I had no brakes and I couldn't make the corner. Good times. I think Riley didn't even check his oil actually after that roll and losing a whole bunch of it. We don't need to check that. Overrated. So Sean went all Ricky Bobby and just stoved it right into the uh, ditch there. <laughs> Things are happening. Things and things and stuff. Oh, it's such a heavy rig. You got it. Just go forwards. You'll be fine. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. Don't listen to me, Jim. Just don't stab the brakes. Yes! Well done! <laughs> now he's driving. Wow! I was going over. He didn't stab that gas. Good job on Jim. Good times on that trail. That was a fun one. <laughs> Green Bastards had a hard day. But we're uh, heading to go set up for a little barbecue. Because, uh, it's three o'clock, we haven't eaten anything all day. And it wouldn't be day in the woods without doing some barbecuing. So Jim and Kevin have the same shocks. Those are uh, two and a half inch wide, 18 inch long foxes that they uh, found a whole bunch of them on Marketplace for some screaming deal. Couldn't say no. So uh, that's why all the boys have some of these badass fox air shocks, which uh, they're working good with the four link. We're gonna pull up here, fire up the barbecue, and uh, see where the day takes us. John's taking off. He's uh, got a dinner to go to, family obligations and all. But uh, the rest of us, well, I'm just gonna climb in with Jim. We'll uh, keep going. Nice, windy nice wind block. It is windy here. I think your island spec bump stops are working really nice. Oh, they are. Look at that. But are you touching your shots? No. Nope. Oh, there you go. I can. I look. Looking good, boys. So fancy. Well, we just uh, finished barbecue. I actually realized that I honestly did not film at all, which, sorry about that. I uh, tried to film the barbecue, because that's just part of this day, but uh, it's getting super windy out. Jim's getting greedy. But as he should be. That thing's working really well these days.
So is that thing. So I've been lazy, I've been driving with uh, Jim instead of getting out in Hoofner. This trail's uh, mostly drops, but uh, we'll get a little bit of film here. Jim keeps getting better at the old gas it out instead of the old stomp the brakes. Good day on the trail so far. We lost Sean, but uh, we're still not out of the woods yet, as they say. Like nothing. You need more momentum than that. Kevin got all the way to the very top of this climb, and then he ran out of fuel. So uh, he's only got the two gallon fuel cell on that thing. Looks like it's working out for him today. Oh, that's terrifying. That's not the place you want to stop. Nicely done. I'm in the midst of an HRP. It's always in the clock, you know? Nice. Good down the trail, as always. Thanks everybody on the uh, Patreon channel for uh, supporting. Cheers everyone. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and uh, sharing. We'll uh, see you next week.